Okay, so I had this whole theme for this video. I was gonna dress up as the watcher and do this what if thing. What if you chose this watch? What if you chose that watch? But the costume wouldn't get here in time. Then I got COVID and that delayed the whole thing. But by the grace of whatever God or gods or not that you do or don't pray to, I'm here. And darn it, so are some dope watches. And dope style is as personal as your fingerprint and use case. So my goal here is not to tell you which of these four watches is the best, but instead to be your smartwatch sommelier. Uh, you know what? Actually, better yet, your high-tech haberdasher and help you pair the right wristwear to your personal flair. We're going on a style safari after the intro. Let's go. So are you more James Bond or Inspector Gadget? Dick Tracy or Flavor Flav? Are you a mover and shaker on the go from sun up to sundown? Maybe you're just a regular guy or gal burning the candle at both ends, hashtag hustle hard. Well, today we're looking at smartwatches which have been released within the last few months of 2021 and one released earlier this year which has matured during the second half of 2021. So that's going to be Samsung's Galaxy Watch 4 and Classic, Mob Voice, TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra, the Fossil Gen 6, and the OnePlus Watch. All solid timepieces in their own right, none perfect, some more feature laden than others, and all at different price points. I'm a dork. So I tend to think of Inspector Gadget when I examine Samsung's Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. But in the broader sense, if you're the secret agent 007 or Kim Possible type, then I think this is the watch for you. It has all the things. Physical sensors for all the things. Well, except blood pressure. That's a mix of software algorithms and the new bioactive sensor. Speaking of, when I said all the things, you get an optical heart rate sensor, electrical heart sensor, and bioelectrical impedance analysis sensor, which allows you to measure things like skeletal muscle, body water, and body fat percentage. This is for the person who wants the most connected, refined experience on Android between a wearable and a phone. That is, if you're a Samsung phone owner. The operating system or systems Wear OS 3 and One UI Watch combine like Voltron and make for one of the best overall experiences in this space. The type of experience you'll need as you tackle that Bond villain or Shigo and need to be ready for anything thrown at you. And that's what sets this device apart from the pack, but its greatest strength can be its weakness for some. Even though everything works, except for the ECG, if you have another phone, there are software features which are Samsung only, like auto switch between your Samsung tablet, phone, and smartwatch, and Buds controller, which allows you to control your Galaxy Buds Plus, or later, right from the watch. And keeping with the spy theme and advanced features, the advanced sleep management on the watch will even record you while you sleep if you snore. There's also blood pressure monitoring, but it does come with limitations, one of which is that it isn't widely available. If you're looking for straps, 20 millimeter watch bands are what you want. Next up for the jet setter or set it and forget it type who doesn't want to be fidgeting and worrying about messing with the watch often, I offer up the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. I mentioned Flavor Flav earlier, an apropos reference for this large watch, which comes in only one size at 47 millimeters by 48 millimeters by 12.3 millimeters thick. Though with its glass reinforced nylon back, it wears well and doesn't feel bulky at all. Battery life is the main talking point here. Not that any of its other features are anything to scoff at either. Some folk get up to three days battery life out of this watch, but it has something called essential mode, which can take it up to 45 days. The tick watch line is unique from the others in this roundup because it has a dual display powered by its co-processor. 
Not only do you get a beautiful AMOLED display, overall functionality is augmented by a separate monochrome FSTN display on top, which features a beautifully vibrant multicolor backlight. It's the operation of that monochrome display, which is easily readable outdoors in direct sunlight, which gives the watch its stamina. Even without that though, you get long battery life with the bevy of sensors and health tracking features. And you're going to get more out of this watch than the standard Wear OS watch in some cases because Mobvoi has augmented health tracking with metrics you won't find in Google Fit. These metrics focus on long-term health trends to help you evaluate your mental fatigue and energy levels using heart rate variability, which I go into in detail in my full review. The watch does have atrial fibrillation detection, but that's via software algorithms rather than a hardware ECG sensor. 22 millimeter lugs here for your strap personalization needs. So if the Energizer Bunny resonates most with you, this is your watch. Do you favor Dick Tracy when I mentioned types of users in the beginning of this roundup? Are you more about those things which never go out of style over trends that change with the winds? If so, then Fossil's Gen 6 watch is your watch. Though I have a nostalgic love for the Fossil brand and my own sons grew up wearing Fossil watches, there's nothing outdated about this smartwatch. It comes with the latest Snapdragon 4100 Plus processor, one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of storage. You get classic styling out of the knurled bezel and two pushers with a protected crown, which is your tool for physically navigating the watch's interface in addition to touch. The watch is light on first party software from Faso, so for most of your features, you're going to rely on Wear OS and Google Fit. The display is bright and clear and beautiful and has a pixel density, which makes graphics look crisp and easily readable. Best of all, this watch charges faster than all of the other watches in this roundup. I'll talk about all four and how they compare in battery life toward the end of this video. The Fossil Gen 6 works with 22 millimeter straps, so you can pair its classic styling with a universe of third-party bands to suit your style. And last, but definitely not least, OnePlus entered the market this year with the OnePlus watch, something we were all anticipating. This wearable has great battery life, you'll get close to a week out of it, and great health tracking, along with a solid feeling build and great looks, but it's basic. Not a lot you can do with notifications, but you do get over 100 workout modes and five atmospheres of water resistance. 22 millimeter straps are the order of the day on this watch. I, I know we have a lot of OnePlus fans here, so this is a solid option for those already in that ecosystem. And at $159, it is the most inexpensive watch on the list. I'd consider this a more leveled up fitness tracker than a full-fledged smartwatch, but that isn't a put down at all. And OnePlus has been known for how they increase functionality with software updates so things can only get better, potentially. Matter of fact, they actually have. When the watch first launched, I couldn't recommend it because it was really buggy, had some issues, but OnePlus has ironed out many of the kinks and it has definitely improved. This watch features the RTOS operating system, so you won't get the breadth of apps and third-party app support that you do with Wear OS or Tizen. But if you're looking for a device which has sophisticated smartwatch styling without breaking the bank, and you're a OnePlus fan, look no further. Now, battery life. Samsung and Fossil, you'll wanna make daily charging while you get ready for work and shower and everything part of your routine. OnePlus and TicWatch last much longer, so the same routine at the appropriate timing is what you'll wanna consider. And when the juice gets low and your battery is short on time, pun intended, this is what you have to look forward to. I performed a 30 minute charging test with a 12 watt output charger and the results were that the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic reached 26% 
my unit, uh, the Classic Watch 4, or the Watch 4 Classic, has the largest battery of the Series 4 offerings. The Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra got to 32%. The Fossil Gen 6 has the most impressive charging time with 59% reached, and the OnePlus Watch reached 36%. Here on the channel, I have reviews of the Galaxy Watch 4 series and the Tick Watch if you want to go back and take an in-depth, granular look at each device. So, which watch are you? Do you fancy yourself 007 or a Bond villain? Is Flavor Flav more your speed? Maybe you're all about the Kim possibilities. Me? I'm still waiting on my Omnitrix. Anywho. Let me know which is your flow in the comments below. I'm Tashaka Armstrong for Android Central. It's a joy that you've watched here with us. I look forward to uh, chopping it up with you down in that comment section. I'll catch you on the next video.